Uh, hi everyone, um, we're here for another craft session today and this one is a really good one um, to do after you've been to the beach. We're making a beach like scene, like this one. So what you'll need is a piece of cardboard, a, um, a paintbrush, some paint, um, some sand and some glue. And if you go to the beach and you find, you can go hunting for lots of different shells and maybe um, little bits of seaweed and any, anything else that you can find and just take them home and use them for the project because there's, yeah, there's lots of different things that you can, um, can use. Um, so what you do first is you have your piece of cardboard and you can paint it. I already made one. Um, you paint it with your um, paintbrush and you just do about halfway or like whenever, whatever you really you want to do. Um, so you have to let it dry before you do the sand bit, that's important. So this one is all dry. I used a little bit of glitter on this one. So you can use some nice paint or glitter paint or anything that you have in, uh, in the house. And then what you have to do next is get your glue. You have to put quite a bit of glue on there. So you just put a lot. And then, so what you have to do is just spread it out till about the line where you've been um, painting, so that's covered. So there you go. And it doesn't really matter what it looks like underneath, so just go. You can make little waves or. Make sure everything else is covered. And it doesn't matter if you've got lots of glue or it you make, have to make sure that all the sand's gonna stick. There you go. Now when you've done this, then the fun part will come. Need some sand. And what you do is you just take a little bit and put it on the edge. And then you cover the glue with sand and it's, it will stick. So if you had wet paint, it wouldn't be so good because it would like stick to everything. So you have to really make sure that your paint is dry. There you go. You see the glue is a little bit runny, but that's okay because you've got ripples in the, on the beach as well. Maybe if you have lots of sand, you can make a sand castle on there. Okay, there you go. So it end up like this. And there's your beach. Now you find all these beautiful shells that you found on the beach. Like you can start, you can glue them up. Like you just use some of the glue and you can just glue them on if you want to. I'm just leaving them on here at the moment, just like that. So you can, you can make little shapes. And who knows what else you can find on the beach. This must be lots of different things. There you go. So you can put as much on it um, if you want. I got that special star as well. Maybe I should put that on. There we go. And then if it's all glued on and it's ready to go, you can always hang it up. So if you put a little hook on the end, you can hang it in your bedroom. Now, and Fiona has some other ideas as well, because that's not the only thing you can do. There's lots of different possibilities and she'll show you um, a few more uh, different uh, things what you can do with the, the sand. The first one is, this one was actually made for me by my grandchildren with the help of my daughter, which I think is absolutely beautiful. She used buttons and little shells to make turtles crawling into the ocean, which is, a, which is lovely. This one, I, I actually used crepe paper for the sand. It makes a nice, I like the crepe paper effect. And I made it a beach scene with some shells and some seaweed and an umbrella to, to um, sit in the shade under. Now the other one I'm doing, which I have to finish, um, I'm being, a, it, this one isn't going to be beach. This is actually going to be a riverbank scene instead. So, you, yes, so you can let your imagination go wild and make any kind of 
sort of water feature you want. Again, I'm putting the glue on liberally and spreading it out. It does dry clear, so it doesn't matter if, if it goes over my water a bit. Again, I've used crepe paper for the water because then it looks ripply. And because it's riverbank, I've actually got river sand instead of beach sand. That's a different colour, different consistency, full of little pebbles. <laughs> and then to make it look more like a riverbank, I'm actually going to stick some vegetation on it. So I'll put a bit of glue on. These are some, for, for this one I used some toys we had around the house um, to make it look, you know, so it doesn't look as natural as the other one because I've used natural things for that except for the umbrella. And then we'll put some, we'll put a duck in there and a couple of lizards. And there we have our riverbank scene. So yeah, there's, there's lots of different possibilities. And I don't know which one you like best, but have a go and see what you can come up with.